So a few days ago, I posted this video, essentially debuting the VRC Formula Alpha 2024. Now, that video was a private test session, hot lapping and finding the limit and enjoying the car. Now, this one is going to be me racing the VRC Formula Alpha 2024. We have a full 20 car grid at a laser scanned Spa Franco Champ and we're going to have a lot of fun. Every single car is the same, so it should be decent. I've got a set of soft tires to hopefully charge through the pack. We're gonna do a short little race, eight laps around here, and hopefully have some fun. So guys, like the video, subscribe, and I'll leave all the mods linked down below. But let's get into it, and let's enjoy it. Right, let's have a little bit of fun, and let's see how AI behave and how cars race. Lights on. And it's, uh not really a start from us as we uh, get off a bit gingerly but we're underway nonetheless into turn one then uh, just a two wide formation so we'll just respect that and hold off for now I've uh, switched to the C3 tyre I will see fours on the grid but the majority of the grid are on C3 so I feel like they might know what is probably the better option so we'll trust the AI on this one as we get a huge run over the top of the hill and we pass Joe and Sargent instantly, moving up to 18th place. Now you can see in the bottom left, we don't exactly have a lot of tire temp right now. So, just trying to build that up. We've got a bit of a check up here. Something may be happening. No yellow flag though, so we'll continue on. Also, you might have noticed on the halo, we've got our new spotter. You know, telling us that there's a car side by side. We're trying to stick the nose in, so we can, you know, react accordingly. Just like that, you can see there, the red. Stroll on the left side, got to leave some room. That's part of a new HUD, which I debuted in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen it, my classic edition, Can I Beat the Pole App? For the 2005 British Grand Prix at the old Silverstone layout. Meanwhile, we get a double run, passing Stroll and Albon, who's still there. Got to leave the room, he's still going for it. This is really good from the AI, actually. I'm really impressed so far. This has been the best first lap from them that I can remember in a set of calls up. Out of Stavlo, we've got a run on Magnussen that is in the Haas. Through we go. And we might just get another shot here. The AI are derating. That's a V carb in front. I thought about it, but we'll just hang back for the time being. Clearly we've got a bit of a, a different deployment strategy to the AI on the battery so we might lose out in some areas but we could be set to gain in others as you saw in the last episode as we've got a car on the inside they had to just get out of the apex a little bit we uh, did a shakedown at Hockenheim and you know we could assign where we wanted the battery to be deployed so currently I'm in strap mode 3 which has a certain deployment map got the run over the top of the Rouge and Radion on the V-carb here I think this is Ricardo. All the way through up the inside yellow flag in front. Ferrari off. Just passing Ricardo and just before the yellow flag zone there, I'd say. I think that's Carlos Sainz who was off. Didn't quite catch a proper glimpse, but that's given us two positions and we're up to 13th now, so happy days. Obviously every single car is equal. Don't read into performances too much. It's the same car with different skin, but you know, all 20 cars are exactly the same. Only difference is tire compounds, and you've got a bit of variation across the grid. C3, C4, C5, definitely a few variables as we clear the Alpine. I think that was Pierre Gasly, not too certain. And now we're on the back of Sonoda. Definitely feeling pretty quick right now. Out of Stavlo we go. We're going to tuck in and go through on the v carb. Clearly, we're deploying more battery on this back straight. And look at this little five-car formation ahead. Leader starting to break away. Easy on the brakes into the bus stop. Oh, and uh, someone just stuck their nose in there, so I had to just get out of that the last second. Slightly offline because of it. We match the purple time. A 150 on the nose, but I reckon we can go quicker than this if we get some sort of clean air. You can see in the top left, we were the quickest car around us. 
Let's nice, try and make some more inroads. Also, our tyres are just gaining some temperature now. The core temp in the middle, you can see the 90 Celsius all round. That's pretty decent. Rears more towards 100. I never feel confident with these curbs, regardless of the game or the car I'm driving. I'm always a bit hesitant. Now behind Holkenberg, got a huge run there into turn eight, but just gonna back off. Also through here, just have to be patient. We might have a shot on the run out of one we're gonna break a little bit earlier to try and get that momentum rolling and we're gonna go up the inside. And that's a nice move. Very opportunistic. So we're now P10 and into the points. We've got I believe Esteban Ocon ahead of us here in the Alpine. And three more cars after that, and there's a bit of a gap. So if we can break these cars, try to get through, we might have a shot to make some real progress. We get past Ocon with ease, and we're gonna get a big run here because of the D rating from the AI. That's Alonso. We get boxed in on the outside line, and that's Perez, Alonso up the inside, and Ocon tries to fight it back. Instead, we challenge Alonso. Oh, car gets loose multiple times on the exit, and we get overtaken by a couple of cars. Hulkenberg, Ocon back through. Luckily, we're still alive in one piece. That's all that matters. I'm going to just yield a little bit here to try and get the run up the hill. We seem to be quicker through here. Oh, perfect. Yep, give me that. Straight through. And that's a double. Back into ninth. And straight back to pushing as we look to get through the traffic here. Good run through Malmody. We might get a shot at Alonso here. Up the inside, Alonso's still there. He runs a little bit wide on the exit, so we'll just get in front for turn nine, no name and move to 8th. Might get a run here as well, we're quite far back. That's Perez. Straight through, momentum working for us. AI very good around here, not fast. I've got them set to 98 out of 100, so clearly even 100 probably wouldn't be enough, but it is my first time racing the AI with this car, so I didn't know what to expect, so I kind of went on the more cautious side for the sake of the content to get a bit more of an entertaining race. We pass Piastri. There we go. No, he's still there. And McLaren's got a bit of a different deployment strap. But now we get in front and we clear him, so we're P6. But as I was saying, I um, wanted to you know, be more cautious with the AI difficulty, but we probably could have gone 100 maxed out quite easily. 48.5 out front, we do have 47.2, so that kind of highlights the pace we have. However, Piastri is lurking here, just leaving a little bit of space as the icon went yellow. Let's try and close in and you can see every single car up ahead. Let's try and make some inroads. We're on the right tyre, rear's getting a little bit hot now but should be fine as we just tick over half race distance. You can just visually see how we're easily catching. I'm not going to go for that move because I kind of exploited track limits there through Pool 1 to get a run. But you can just see how rapidly we're catching in clean air. Also, I'm getting more comfortable with this car. I definitely think the AI a bit slow. Might need a mod or something to make them quicker. Not from the guys who made the car, but we're talking, you know, the AI are track specific, so we might need some sort of like a track mod update or something to make them a bit quicker. Either way, we get past Leclerc. There we go. There we go. Now we're in front. So that's a P5, top five, and there's the four cars in front, the top three battling for the lead right now. So it's all to play for. Oh, Leclerc just stuck his nose at the very last second. I already committed to the corner, so I had nowhere to go. 47-1, we got a tenth quicker. The car in front, I'm not sure if it's Russell, it's Hamilton. Not, I think it's Hamilton, did a 48-0, so he was the next closest. Let's try and close in then, shall we? We can win this quite easily if we play our cards right. 
Nice run over the top of the hill. We're going to get a huge bit of slipstream in DRS on Lewis, but probably not close enough to challenge into Legcom, so we'll just wait for now. His AI aren't particularly great, but they're pretty decent on the brakes in certain areas. This is where we're good. Good run out of Mawadi into eight. Ravage. Hamilton doesn't even really try to go around the outside as we clear him. And now the top three remain. For Snap and Norris, not sure who the other one is. I think it's Russell. And we're going to get Norris right away. To the outside we go. And that's a podium. We might even get a rustle of a snap in here. We know the battery deployment's pretty strong for us on this back straight. Strap mode 3, working like a charm all race long. See these guys are derating. Here we go. Side by side with George, we're kind of boxed in. Just got away a little bit, now we can commit. Here we go, to the left of a snapping. On the brakes, long way round. Very tight through bus stop two, but we get it done. It's a lovely move. And we're straight into first with a 47.8 on that lap. So good pace still. So now we get to enjoy Spa, this car, this livery, and some engine sound. sort of pace we can do last lap of the race let's bring this one home gap to the AI over five seconds here we go then out to Blanchemont into the bus stop for the final time in the bottom left I feel like my tires are gonna hit the cliff because that red bar well that bar has gone red more like so maybe your tires are wearing either way job done Bottas wins at Spa and there it is checkered flag obviously quite a dominant one in the end but you know it was a learning experience. To be fair, I really enjoyed it. The AI was superb, albeit a bit slow. Race-wise, compared to some other races and things I've done in Seto Corsa, they were really, really good in this one, and I do recommend it. I think we could have run Max I 100, and I need to kind of research, maybe pushing them even a bit higher at certain points, but I'll also try to hopefully do some more testing and find the balance and the sweet spot. Either way, the key point, this car is epic to drive. It's so much fun, and it... It feels good on force feedback. It sounds incredible. Like literally the sounds, I loved every single one of them. You heard on that, you know, flat out engine sound lap. Every time the plank hits the floor over the curbs, the bouncing, the porpoising, you know, sliding, slipping, revs, it's all there. It really is all there. And uh, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it, guys. So I'll leave all the mods linked down below, guys, for every single car livery, the car, the laser scan, spa, everything. It'll be there. So. Check those mods out. If you have a set of course, give it a shot and let me know what you think. Have you driven this car anyway? 
by chance. I want to hear thoughts and feedback. And again, check out the previous video, the shakedown I did at Hockenheim, time trialing, hot lapping this wonderful machine. That video will be on screen in just a little bit. Before that, though, a big shout out to the members for supporting the channel and the content. Like, subscribe the video, guys. I'd much appreciate a like on this one. And uh, yeah, check out that previous video along with something else on the screen right now. And yeah, guys, just watching. And I'll see you soon. Take care. And that's goodbye from me. Adios.